Hey guys, I'm Danny Spees, and today I am sharing my wheat berry, spinach, and pistachio salad. Now this salad is perfect for this time of year because it's hearty enough for the colder days, yet light and fresh enough to bring us into spring. So here's what we're gonna do. So the first thing I do is make my wheat berries. If you're not familiar with wheat berries, they are a whole grain, they are packed with vitamins, lots of fiber, and they have this very sweet, nutty flavor to them and an addictively chewy texture. And they're super easy to make. So I'm gonna add one cup of wheat berries into my pot along with three cups of water. I'll turn the heat up to high, let everything come up to a boil, then I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer pop on a lid and let this cook anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes. It really depends on your wheat berries. So you just wanna start checking it at about 30 minutes. The goal is for them to have a little bite to them. So you want them to be chewy, but you don't want them to be tough. And don't worry if there's extra water in the pot once your wheat berries are done, because you can just drain it out the same way you would pasta. So while that's happening, into a large bowl, I'm going to whisk together two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one teaspoon of freshly grated ginger, a clove of crushed garlic, and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna whisk that all together, and then I'm tossing in one cup of finely chopped baby spinach and a quarter cup of golden raisins. Then, once my wheat berries are done cooking, I'm gonna toss those right on top of the raisins and the spinach and the dressing. Number one, this is gonna help to wilt down the spinach and plump up the raisins. And number two, the warm wheat berries are able to absorb all of the flavors from the dressing. So the ginger and the garlic and the lemon gets infused inside the wheat berry. Next goes a quarter cup of sliced scallions. It gives it a little onion flavor, but it's more mild than an onion and a quarter cup of unsalted toasted pistachios. Again, I'm gonna to gently toss this all together, then transfer it into my serving bowl and finish it off with just an ounce of crumbled goat cheese. So sprinkle it all over the top and then I like to just mix it in just a little bit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You get that nutty, chewy wheat berry with the creamy goat cheese, and I'm getting all the flavors of the ginger and the garlic and the lemon that were infused into the berry. You guys have got to give this one a try, and when you do, come on down into the comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks, Thanks so much for watching, guys. guys. I'm, I'm Danny Spees, and I'm Clean and Delicious, and I'll see you back here soon with some more Clean and Deliciousness. Cheers. And an addictively chewy texture. and an addictively chewy texture. And they're super easy to make. Then I'm gonna reduce it down to low. Then I'm gonna reduce it. Then I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer, pop on a lid and let